our radar and satellite active out there. We had showers and thunderstorms move through earlier, even showed you on the radar earlier after those showers and storms moved through. But now we're still dealing with showers. Cold front still extending off to our north. That'll be moving through as we go into the overnight hours. Temperatures dropping down to the 40s and not relenting as we go throughout the day tomorrow. Not much recovery because we're going to have the cloud cover and the showers around as well as that colder air still moving into the area. As we look at our surface map, showing you exactly why a cold front right on top of us now. But you notice a little disturbance moving through into southwestern Texas. That's going to continue to slide right along this cold front. That'll bring us rain showers for the day tomorrow. But all of the lower 48, with the exception of the extreme southeast, dealing with colder temperatures and this cold front. Looking at all the blues representing 40s or colder. And of course, this pocket here, the dark blues, that is some really cold air. That's 20s or less. That is moving to the south and east as well. Luckily, we're not going to get part of that, but we do have the other cold air moving in our direction. That's going to be sticking with us throughout the day tomorrow. Overnight tonight, 40 degrees and rain showers around a 50% chance. As we go throughout the day tomorrow, much, much colder, only getting into the 40s for a daytime high. Then we'll drop down to the 30s and we stay mostly cloudy. We could even have a couple of showers here and there over the next several days, even as we work into Friday. It'll be cloudy and chilly. Of course, looking at our surface map tomorrow, <laughs> the cold front still going across the Gulf Coast states here into the Carolinas and a low pressure system will be kind of pulsing its way across that cold front, bringing rain throughout most of the southeast and even enough cold air in southwest Texas for mixing the higher elevations out there. Yes, there are some higher elevations, say about 2000 feet in southwest Texas toward Mexico. We could be looking at their first accumulating snowfall. We don't have any of that here, but it's cold and nasty for the day tomorrow. More cold air on the way as that high pressure system builds in the west. More Arctic air will be plunging our way over the next several days as we go into the next 10 days or so. And looking ahead at the pattern, this jet stream locking into a big trough in the east that keeps the cold air here and that keeps it warm and dry out west. The rain staying right along the Gulf Coast as well. The little clipper systems moving through the Great Lakes. As we look at our lows tonight, well, chilly, 40 degrees, about 38 nearby. 60% chance of rain overnight tonight. Another 60% chance of rain tomorrow. 45 degrees is all we can manage for the daytime high tomorrow in our extended forecast. 45 tomorrow, 51 on Thursday, 45 on Friday. Get back into the 50s Saturday and Sunday, but overnight low Friday night. How about this, Mark? 22 degrees Friday night. We do moderate a bit as we head into next week, but it looks like we'll have another round of colder air moving in by the middle of next week. So a little moderation, but not 80. 62 is the warmest temperature on the forecast there across the seven days. And today we were near 80. 62 is the warmest over the next seven days and 22 for an overnight low. Well, you know, the last time I heard a low of 22. Stop <laughs> it. Long, Stop it. This is a long time ago. Stop it was cold. It, I'm just telling it. you it was cold. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I thought you were going to talk about your non-existent basketball career. <laughs> no, man. Thanks, man. <laughs>